Hey guys, it's Pamela. I decided to run up here and just do something really quick while I had it on my mind. Usually I write them down, but I thought sometimes that doesn't even work. <laughs> sometimes it still doesn't happen when I write it down. So I want to try to recreate that hammered metal effect where the silver was floating on top of the rest of the uh, painting. It's in one of my other videos back. I, I'll put the number up here. <laughs> I don't remember the number right off, but this is a 10 by 20. I just taped it up real quick. I've got, uh, as I'll show you in the picture, Artist Creations and Payne's Gray, which is really a, a navy. Artist Loft Turquoise, Fine Touch Acrylic Primary Cyan, Fine Touch Acrylic White, and Artist Loft Flow in Silver. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to put spot on silicone in the silver. Uh, in this white, I put a tablespoon of <clears throat> satin enamel. I don't know why, because I'm really just trying to see if this sells up, but I don't know why I did that. Um, and I added a little Artist Loft Flow White to it just to make it extra flowy and fluffy. Okay. Up. Put my silicone in. I'm going to put two, three, almost came out. I'm going to stir it up very well because. I like small cells and I'm going to pour a traveling ring pour on this, which I think this is the first time for this on or off camera. I don't think I've poured a traveling ring pour. Well, I mean, I have, but not just, well, okay. Now I believe what happened that last time is um, the silver somehow floated on top of the other colors that were heavier. Um, as far as the ratio of uh, pouring medium, sorry I didn't talk about that, I did one part paint, only one part Floetrol, and then I added water to thin them out to, to you know, kind of a density pour consistency, like my last videos. Um, I didn't have to add any water to the silver because it's already thin, but I still thinned out those colors enough to where they should be thinner than the silver because I'm thinking, well, I'm thinking the last time the silver floated on top of the heavier colors because they were heavier, whereas usually the metallics sink. But since I put silicone in this, for this pour, I'm thinking that if I make everything thin, that uh, silicone will bring the silver up to the top. Does that ever work? 
Does it ever work in a flip cup? I don't know. We'll see. Because I've tried it the other way several times and I can't get anything to happen. That's all the white I'm going to put in. So. All right. Well, I waited a whole minute. <laughs> um, that turquoise didn't show up. Okay, here we go. This is a first, too. <laughs> so 
silicone and all. Well, I didn't lose the silver. And I was able to save it at the end by <laughs> pouring more paint on the corners. I should be happy because of that alone. I finished the sides. Thumbnail. I'm not unhappy. I thought my paints were thin enough to get more of kind of like a density pour look, but, and the satin enamel was just a mute point. There was really no point in putting the satin enamel in it, I don't think unless I just wanted to ensure that it cracks. <laughs> Hope that doesn't happen. But it's beautiful. I may have to fight someone for this one because I don't like it. I would hang this one. Well, I would hang all of my paintings on the wall. What am I saying? <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And see me on Instagram and Facebook. Appreciate you. See you next time. Bye.